been talking to some folks about physics lately, about like five different people um, in this last week. And it's been kind of interesting. A lot of people asking questions. And one of the conversations I had tonight was about Evil Knievel and what was he known for. So we got Dream Matt here and then we got this other Matt here and we got this jar of BBs. Now if these were gold and we dealt them into a sluice, knowing that this, these, these, this heavy metal is going to be way heavier than dirt, where would we want our nice little round nuggies to land? Now if I got this at a steep slope, It's probably a good old, it's more than 15 degrees. But it's just for an illustration. Which mat are you going to bet that's going to catch the most? And which mat's going to lose the most? Well, I'm going to put the old camera up and do a slow-mo of pouring BBs into the top of this mat until I see a Bob BB running off that mat that I'm going to stop. And then I'm going to switch it around with the same amount of BBs. And then we're going to run them again. And we're going to see in both situations which mat catches the most BBs. And which mat loses the most. But I guess this doesn't mean nothing, everybody will say. And tests don't mean nothing, everybody will say. And physics don't mean nothing, everybody will say. But I just want you folks to think about what's happening in your sluice box. When that old heavy BB, that nice round little nuggies traveling through there. On that dredge with a lot of velocity, with a lot of water. Are we going to go with like a dream mat? Or are we going to go with what I'll call the evil Knievel mat? So let's go ahead and just shut up and run the BBs. <laughs>
Bye, my love, goodbye There goes my baby 